Crowd, I hope it's a sellout. It's uh, the, these type of games. It's why you get out of bed as a coach, and the players are certainly thriving off. You know what sort of occasion this might be. Uh, yeah, we've had some massive tussle against Wigan in, in recent seasons, and I'm sure this one will be another. I, I have a lot of respect for the club. I, I played there as a player, and you know some good people, uh, good rugby league people, people who have a lot of respect for. Um, you know, and, and, and the, the players are, you know, their edges, and you start naming the players in their team who can play. And you can go on forever, and uh, you know it just shows you the quality throughout that club, in the squad, not only in the first starting 17. So you know I I, I admire what they do, um, and that makes you want to beat them, and hopefully they've got the same respect for us. So it, it's always a really important game in our calendar. This yeah, definitely. I think um, you know it's been a normal week so far, and um, you know we you know, obviously get on the training pack this afternoon, train well, and then um, you know looking forward to Friday, and I'm um, sure the boys be keen and. Um, I am as well, so I'm um, looking forward to the game. Each, during the year you get these games like Wigan and that, and uh, they're definitely big games. We always have big games against Wigan and it's going to be another big contest, especially at home here and with the fans, and it'll be a tough one. I think in 2012 uh, we, we met Wigan in, in both semi-final of the Challenge Cup and the last semi-final in the playoffs, and uh, you know we, we were victors in both those games. <laughs> Yet yeah, Wigan bounced us out the playoffs last year. You know they they eliminated us and prevented us from getting the, to the grand final. So you know a bit of your turn, our turn, if you like. And you know this is a, a bit of a return fixture. So uh, there's a bit of spice in there. The, there's a bit of history between the two teams in recent seasons, and uh, and I'm sure it's it's. Uh, listen, I don't play. I don't. Our players don't need any more of a build up than that. And I'm sure Wigan's don't. But uh, you know, when you start reading back, just what's happened between the two teams in the last two. Two or three scenes, it does add that little bit extra. I love going to add in, it brings the best out of my players as well. They look after you, they're very hospitable club, and but they play tough, and that's what you want. You expect them, you know, you're going to get at Leeds, and um, you know, so we'll be going there with a good attitude. And we've had a couple of good wins the last few years, and we want to go and do it again, you know, because we know when uh, when you're beating Leeds, you're beating the best. Listen, we're, we, we're valuing where we're at at the moment, we're not celebrating that, we're not. We're not thinking we're all that. We, we're only three points clear of Wigan. I think we're a point clear, is it? Or two points clear? I'm not sure of Castleford. Uh, you know, we, it, where we are at the moment is, is it's not the end of the year. And you know, if we, if we finish up at the top of the tree at the end of the year, you know, we'll maybe sit back for a while and and, and give ourselves a bit of a, a slap on the back. At this stage, we're uh, we're determined to keep a, 